What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be discussing whether you should start a dropshipping business in 2021. Obviously, we've kind of come into the end of COVID. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. Things like shipping times and things like that um, are reducing down and we're returning to some normality. Obviously, there's been some big changes since Brexit too with the VAT rules and that. So people are, there seems to be some confusion around whether dropshipping is still a viable business. So in this video, um, I've made a list of all the kind of most popular questions I keep getting asked um, and I'm just gonna run through them now to kind of answer them and hopefully help you make that decision then whether you wanna take that risk of starting a business in 2021, drop shipping on Shopify. So the first point that I wanna address is um, one of the most popular, probably the most popular question in fact to get asked all the time is, is drop shipping easy? Um, and it's a really easy question to answer and it's just kind of, it's a flat no. So it's not an easy business, but it is a low risk business. And I think people often get the two confused. So if you think that by starting a drop shipping business and getting a Shopify store up and running within the space of a couple of days, um, sticking a load of AliExpress plastic rubbish on there and then running some Facebook ad campaigns and expecting to see some money in return. That's not going to be the case. You're not going to be able to make money doing that. Um, maybe four or five years ago, then yes, um, you probably would have been able to. I did. I sold some pretty cheap rubbish product, um, products back in the day, but things have changed in terms of um, how competitive Facebook ads are. And I think just in general, the consumers have become a bit more savvy into what a professional site actually looks like. The next video in which I'm going to be uploading tomorrow will be kind of like the three keys to every successful Shopify store in which I'll go into more detail on those things. So if you do want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Going back to the question in hand then, then no, it's not an easy business. If you think that you can make 10 grand in your first month, yes, it is possible 100%. Um, but it's unrealistic. If you're a complete beginner and building a Shopify site is brand new to you, running Facebook ad campaigns is brand new to you, picking products is brand new to you, then to expect to make that sort of money in your first month is completely unrealistic. If you're essentially starting from scratch and this is 100% new to you, then I wouldn't even worry about the first three months of being in business and making a single penny. I would just kind of dip your toes in, start by running some Facebook ad campaigns on really small budgets of two, three pounds a day, get all your mistakes out of the way, learn everything there is to learn in that first three months, and then start to ramp it up. Especially if you're thinking about starting a business in the next few months, it gives you plenty of time to get your site looking really crisp, really professional, gives you plenty of time to test products, and then capitalize on Q4. So personally, I think Q4 in 2021 this year is going to be absolutely ridiculous obviously because of last year with most people being furloughed not being able to see family on their birthdays and at christmas and kind of special occasions as people go back to work and the furlough scheme ends more people have got more money in their pockets and they're making up for that lost time i think the amount of money spent online is going to increase dramatically this year so in my opinion between now and the course of the next few months is probably the most ideal time to be starting a drop shipping business because shipping times have come drastically down. They've become a lot cheaper too. So six months ago, if you wanted to get something sent from AliExpress to the UK, so China to the UK via AliExpress, then if you could get two weeks, then I would say you were probably quite lucky. But as things stand now, um, things have improved quite a lot. You can consistently get things under two weeks and around a week, depending on who you're using, what kind of shipping method you're using. I know CJ has been pretty reliable throughout as well from what I've heard from some of the members of the academy. Um, and recently, through the kind of samples that I've ordered through them myself, you're looking at about seven to 10 days China to UK, which isn't bad at all. So if you are wondering about whether dropship in China to the UK is still viable or not then 100% yes it is. Now the flip side of that is the VAT rules have changed. The point at which VAT is charged and the amount of VAT is charged or the value in which it's charged on sorry um, has changed um, which there are some good and bad points to it. Um, I'll give you a couple now in this video, but there is, there will be a separate video. It's quite an important topic. Everything needs to be kind of explained really slowly and clearly to make sure I put across the right information for the right reasons, obviously. So there will be a separate video on that. Um, but basically the bad part of it is we have to pay more taxes, more VAT on the products we bring in if we're drop shipping from China to UK. There are lots and lots of different workarounds, by the way, in which you can use to take advantage and actually make your business more profitable. But then the flip side, one positive aspect to this is where we were kind of restricted to products 15 pounds and under um, before Brexit, 
um, it really limited the kind of quality and the profit margins we could make because if you were buying something for £10 then you can only sell that realistically up to about maybe 30 40 even £50 but now because it doesn't matter and VAT is charged on everything we can buy something for £30 and drop ship it for £100, £120 um, obviously so the profit margin is going to be a lot higher um, and there's a lot more money to make if you do it in the right way. But like I said, there will be a separate video that goes into a ton more detail um, on this particular topic. The next positive to consider, um, if you are thinking about starting a dropshipping business in the next couple of months, um, is there's gonna be lots of new trends following as we come out of lockdown here in the UK. I touched on this briefly earlier on in the video, but think about all the sorts of things people haven't been able to do, um, like birthday parties, go out to the pub, um, go to nightclubs when nightclubs open people are going to be going absolutely crazy spending their money on things which they otherwise wouldn't have or they're going to be spending more money on those things and if you can kind of take some time to think about it and use the tools available online like google trends and kind of just apply some common sense to what people are now going to start buying think of things like clothing accessories fashion items beauty items people don't necessarily care as much what their hair looks like or whether they have a shave or whatever it is because they're not going out but as soon as people are allowed to go out and kind of um, socialize and interact with other people then obviously the sorts of things the sorts of products they buy is going to change drastically and with that being said then guys um, I'll go through a quick recap now there's no need to make this video crazy crazy long so I'm just going to touch on the points um, just to kind of reiterate them, ones I've already gone through. So number one, drop shipping is not easy. Um, it hasn't been for many years now. Um, I don't want you to come into this with false expectations. It's good to have big expectations and have big goals, but you need to be realistic to how quickly you can achieve them. Realistically, try not to think about making any money in the first three months. I'm not saying that's completely impossible. Don't come away from this video thinking, in the first three months we're not going to make a penny because that's not the case there's people in the academy who have gone through the content applied it super quickly because they've had lots of times on their hand um, and they've been able to make 5 10k in the first three or four weeks because they've had that structure and that plan to follow and they get that support from myself and the academy team to kind of point them in the right direction but if you're a complete beginner start from scratch start from a fresh then without that sort of step-by-step -step guidance and support then it's completely unrealistic so just make sure you take your time make all your mistakes spending two pounds a day rather than 20 or 30 or even 200 pounds a day on Facebook ads because mistakes are going to happen. It's guaranteed as with anything, you always make mistakes until you get better at something. Point number two, e-commerce is gonna be absolutely huge. Um, it continues to grow year on year. COVID has kind of accelerated that. And as people come out of lockdowns and the world returns to normal, there's gonna be more people with more money as they come out of furlough. And they're gonna be making up for lost time buying bigger and better birthday presents, holiday presents, e Easter, Q4, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Halloween, all those sorts of things. People are going to be spending more as long as you pick it in the right trend. Now, don't go out there and try and sell home fitness gear as an example because as gyms in the UK this is as the gym start to open up more and more people are going to be dying to get out of the house and join a gym so home fitness workout gear is kind of like a dying trend at this point unless you're thinking about building a brand and doing it long term if that's your case stick with what you're doing put your head down build the content out have a content strategy and just build your following over time and everything works if you do it for long enough and build that brand but if you want to try and see those results immediately and straight away then selling or trying to sell within a dying trend or in something that's kind of decreasing in popularity then it's always going to be an uphill battle point number three then do your research pick a trend in that is going to spike in popularity as soon as certain kind of events happen so for example when festivals come back out um, when nightclubs open people are going to want to take pictures with their friends so selfie lights and things like that and then fourth and final point which a lot of people are concerned about is shipping times shipping times have come down drastically yes we're not part of the eu now but i'm guessing that as soon as boris kind of has the time to focus on other things he'll start looking for trade deals and things like that with china and just kind of streamlining the whole process even if he doesn't then shipping times from china to the uk now are less than two weeks consistently and typically around kind of seven to ten days and i believe they're the same when drop shipping to the us as well and with that being said then guys thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it um, i hope i answered all your questions but of course not feel free to post them down below and i will see them and get back 
back to you. One final thing then before you go, if you are looking for a program to kind of hold your hand through the whole process of building your store out, finding products, and comes with full support and guidance from, so, from somebody who has experience like myself, um, please do check out the Ecom Academy. It comes with all of that and more. Um, there's loads and loads of new content always constantly being added. And there is a free callback service too. So if you want to hop on the phone with me, for example, and go through any questions or hesitations you have about joining beforehand, um, then we can get that arranged. Just check out the first link in the video description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.